What up Fortnite fam, I'm Matt, and Chapter 3 Season 2 is actually supposed to release tomorrow. Not that anyone would know because there's been no announcements, no teasers, and no news drops yet. That being said, we do know a few things about what might be coming in the new season, so I'm here to break down every major leak we think you need to know about before the new season starts tomorrow. Before any of that though, if you want to hit the ground running in the next season of Fortnite, make sure you head over to ProGuides.com. We've got some of the best coaches in the industry, and they're ready and waiting to help you become the best Fortnite player that you can be. All you need to do to get started is hit the link in the description or the link in the top right of the video. Go on, give it a click. What's the worst that could happen? It's going to be a strange, strange time in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2, if you get what I'm saying. Basically, Doctor Strange is going to be the Marvel collab skin for this season. Collaboration skins are pretty common these days, and superhero collabs seem to be the skins that both the Fortnite devs and the player base enjoy the most. Marvel shows up way more often than DC, and it looks like Marvel is what we're going to be getting again this time around. Pretty much every leaker and major community member, ranging from the Twitter leakers with their epic sources to YouTubers like Tabor Hill, all agree that Doctor Strange is going to be the Marvel skin this season. That makes a whole lot of sense, considering the fact that Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is coming out in like two months. The same thing happened with Spider-Man, so why not Stephen Strange as well? While we're on the subject of Marvel and Fortnite crossing over, there's actually another major Marvel crossover that's happening this season, and it's basically the linchpin behind discovering what the whole rest of the season is, and that's the Zero War comic series. Releasing in June is a new crossover comic series featuring members of the Fortnite universe and the Marvel universe coming together once again to fight the good fight against the imagined order by teaming up with the Seven. From what they've released so far, there are some pretty big things that we can figure out about how the storyline is going to unfold over the course of Chapter 3 Season 2. For a start, we've got our first look at one of the sisters, which are members of the Seven that Jonesy and the Foundation have talked about in the past. There's also a new character that hasn't been seen in Fortnite before, and that's Shuri from the Black Panther movies. In the image, we can see what she'll probably look like in the game when her skin gets released, and what is probably going to be her harvesting tool. Other images show the Foundation and the Sister alongside Jonesy and a group of other heroes from across Fortnite and Marvel, leading an attack on one of the IO bases that are currently on the Fortnite map. There are also some flashback scenes, but those don't really matter so much. The real meat and potatoes comes from the description of the story of the comics released by Marvel. It says that the heroes of the story will be hunting for a crystallized fragment of the Zero Point, one that was cast out into the Marvel Universe, called the Zero Shard. Apparently, this fragment has the ability to change the course of the war against the IO Guard, so it's pretty damn important. Moving on from Marvel and comics, there's actually way more in the way of collabs that could be coming along. Specifically, I'm talking about more Star Wars items in the game. May is fast approaching, and with May comes May the 4th, which is a significant date for Star Wars fans, but more importantly, the release of the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show. Fortnite and Star Wars have shared a very entwined history, going so far as to reveal the return of Emperor Palpatine in the final movie of the Skywalker Saga. Recently, Donald Mustard has been sharing certain Star Wars images on his Instagram, leading some to believe that an Atat might actually appear in Fortnite, or at the very least, a major new crossover could be on the way. Another thing that supports that idea are all the updated Star Wars cosmetics that were added to the game in 19.10 as well as the updated Star Wars lightsaber files that were re-added to the game as well. The only reason any of that would have happened would be if they were going to be used, which does strongly suggest that there's going to be a brand new Fortnite Star Wars event on the way. So we've tackled all of the major cosmetics we expect to be in the game, so let's flip things over a bit and talk about new weapons and mechanics instead. First of all, new vehicles. The IO drills that have been seen on the map already are apparently going to be drivable next season but the I.O. aren't the only ones bringing some additional hardware to the island, because apparently the Seven are meant to be bringing some of their own new gear to play with in the form of a Zeppelin. Hypex claimed way back in December that Epic were working on the vehicle in time for either the next season, which would be Chapter 3 Season 2, or the season after that. Here's hoping it's ready for the next season though, because that would be pretty cool. Rumour has it that the agency may be set to make a reappearance on the map. 
It first appeared in Chapter 2 Season 2 and became the focal base of operations for Midas and his construction of the Doomsday Device. Well, once again, according to Hypex, a POI called the DD Machine, or Doomsday Machine, was in the works. Coincidence? I think not. Also set to make an appearance is a location called Catus Cave. Currently, there's a location next to Tilted Towers that is basically the bones of the Devoured, the big monster that fought against the giant robot back in Chapter 1. Well, this location is apparently going to become a big old cave in Chapter 3 Season 2. And that's it for map changes. Not that much, I'll admit, but a return of both Catus and the Doomsday Machine in the same season, it could be pretty cool. Alright, it's shooty bang bang time, and according to Hypex, there's a whole lot currently in the works. First of all, three potential new mythics could be coming to the game. There's a new mythic thermal assault rifle. This would deal 39 damage to the body or to builds and will have around a 70 DPS, which means it would be pretty slow firing even if it's meant to be fully automatic. Next up, there's a mythic with some kind of blade, similar to Wolverine's. This weapon supposedly has a spin attack, a charge attack and some kind of boosted jump. Considering Wolverine is in the Marvel comic and there's an upcoming Star Wars crossover, it's pretty likely that these are either just straight up a return of the Wolverine claws or some kind of new dual wield lightsaber. Either way, it'll be pretty cool. The final of the three mythics is the return of the Shockwave bow, this time in mythic form. Do you remember way back in chapter one when Epic Games released a remote control rocket launcher? Well, Something similar may be returning in the next season. According to Hypex, there's going to be a new homing rocket weapon. It's uncertain of whether this will be able to home in on players or just vehicles. Either way, it's going to be a pretty controversial addition to the game when it does show up. Next is the potential addition of a dual wheel desert eagle. Earlier this month, Hypex found some unused data referring to this weapon, claiming that it was still being worked on. Whether it'll be ready in time for release in Chapter 3 Season 2? is totally unknown. There's also an epic healing item for squads that will heal 75 HP per squad member, a legendary shield or a backpack item that will heal 50 shields for you and the rest of your squad, and a return of the C4, which will apparently see some additional buffs. So those are all the major leaks that we know about Chapter 3 Season 2. Will it actually release tomorrow or will it be delayed? It is super weird to have not had any information release about the new season so far, not even an announcement, at least at the time of writing this video. People think that something Donald Mustard said indicated it would be 48 hours from the release of that statement, and there was also a leaked piece of promotional art from Nintendo, but other than that, there's nothing. Either way, the war against the IO is heating up once again as they make their way through to the flip side. Here's hoping the Seven and their Marvel allies can keep up the fight against them. As always, we're going to have a ton of excellent guides, ranging from settings to the best way to level up your battle pass to getting up there in the rankings of arena mode fast. So make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you have the bell button turned on so you don't miss any of that. Hopefully, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the launch of the new season. See you then.